Hello. Hi. So, um, I am live in my fourth session uh, today and the topic uh, which I had talked about, which I had mentioned would be about relationships at workplace and mostly to do with designer and design companies. But frankly, it applies to, to almost everyone, right? Or any kind of... Now, these are my... my um, observations over the years, 30 plus years, 33, 34 years of career. And how I have seen is, uh, yeah, so what I've seen is that uh, over the years, um, how you behave with people and how people behave with you um, ends up building relationships. Um, and relationships do matter because finally, it's it's not just what do you do, how do you do it, what kind of work you do. It's it's not just that. It is the people you work with, um, your co-workers, your seniors, your juniors, your team, uh, your family, your your vendors, your clients. Uh, that becomes very very important. So the level of uh, satisfaction of of having that good work. Of course, work matters, uh, but level of satisfaction of having done good work comes uh, and depends on on these relationships. So first, I'm I'm going to just I made some notes, so I thought I'll I'll uh, talk what I have in mind, and then probably we can take uh, some question answers. I have my studio uh, sitting with me <coughs> in Pune, and I'm sure they have some questions and even. If you have some questions, feel free to write them anytime. You don't have to wait, just write and somebody will point out the questions to me. So few things which, which come to my mind. Um, you know, right from the design school, we had... Um, you have a lot of, lot of uh, students with you. You have, you have your batchmates, your classmates. And you do find... Uh, and they are all kinds of people, right? So. So there are people who are always nice, very sweet, always nice. They will not say anything wrong to you. If they're angry, they will not show the anger, but they will sort of eat it up. But, you know, they will be very happy and, and pleasant on the face. Um, then there are people who are very rude. Um, and they, they don't really mean anything wrong, but they are rude. It's just the expression that comes across in an in, in extremely brash uh, manner that you get offended uh, initially. Um, it's only later when you reflect on that why they were rude. What they, I mean, fine, you you sort of build reasons to to go on with with people, right? Then there are there are people who whom you consider very fair. They are always they have something to say and you sort of agree uh, with them. And then there are people who are always polite. Um, what I found is that as designers, we always need to be very frank, very open and very honest. Uh, that is not compromised. So in the sense if somebody asks you for a judgment, so that's another thing. Designers need to be judgmental. They need to be opinionated. Okay, I know these are, these are wrong words in, in the normal world, but in the design world, if you do not have an opinion about something or if you do not have a judgment about something, chances are that you probably don't know about that, right? So in, in that professional category, it is good to be opinionated and judgmental about work I'm talking about, okay? Um, in the sense, you can, uh, you, you should have an opinion and you should be able to talk about that opinion. Um, but the way you express that opinion and the way you, you put your judgment across matters. And I think this is where the whole thing is. I don't think people ever get offended by a frank and honest opinion. Never. People get offended uh, by the way you express it, the way you, you put it across. So the manner the, is the tone of voice finally. The tone of voice has to be extremely careful. That's where you should be careful. Um, should you be diplomatic with the tone of voice? Yes. With the opinion? No. 
So I think it's it's important for for us as designers to be able to differentiate these two things. So one is the content, and second is the delivery of the content. It's is the same thing. The content uh, we need to be extremely extremely upfront and honest because that's what our experience is, right? If I if I'm holding a cup and I say, "Oh, beautiful cup," I mean it's beautiful cup. Okay, I'm not. I'm not not trying to please the cup, or I'm not trying to please you or anyone. And if I say horrible pen, no grip, again, uh, same, right? So, so I think upfront, what I want to say is that that we need to be careful. Not just be careful. We need to be sensitive about how we say things, how we deliver the content. But what we need to be also careful about is the content itself the opinion itself now one is the opinion has to be informed right the opinion has to be informed it has to be it has to be coming from the point of view of knowledge and experience so um, if it is it is a opinion just because and, and you don't really know anything i think then the the opinion itself could be wrong so a lot of people would get offended because you have an opinion which is not well informed so that that is a flaw in the in the knowledge itself so first is that yes uh, give opinion only when you are capable of giving an opinion uh, make judgment when you are capable of making a judgment or it needs to come with a disqualifier right which a lot of designers do uh, if you if you see designers presenting their work they would come and present and say you know i am not an expert on so and so this or this 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 i don't know much but this is my opinion F- fantastic way of presenting it okay it's in a way to present that i'm i'm not definitive about this i might change my opinion if you have better information so i'm open to that so i need to come across as open even if i have formed an opinion that's very important so so i feel this is Uh, this is the important point delivery and content and the content how informed is the content uh, you just need to be honest about it uh, that then other thing uh, which i want to talk about is something called mutual respect right um, or respect for another person so i feel there's nothing in the world nothing in the world which can which can make you disrespect the other person you can you can disrespect the person's choices you can disrespect the person's voice you can disrespect the person's way of delivery of doing things uh, the way the person smells or, or the way he dresses or sits or, or does the work whatever you may not like his work but on on a very personal level inside at human level you need to respect people so i think also it's a part of culture in our culture we have this you know all elders we we touch their feet we we are never disrespectful to elders uh, even if they are wrong we know that uh, in our households also so so i i am saying that that figure out the difference between being disrespectful to the person uh, and having your opinion against something that person is doing so so when you have something against the the work the person is doing you still have to be respectful to the person okay now now this is why i'm talking about this is because relationships actually don't matter on your opinions they matter on the delivery only and the delivery is a matter of your your relation with that person is is how respectful you are so if you if you take understood these concepts then i'll move on to the next one so the first relationship uh, um, which comes to my mind is the the coworkers the team which you work with okay or the office in which you work with so, uh, work in so it's or if you are a student then then your faculty and so you have seniors and you have juniors i mean very clearly and your your uh, people with the same similar uh, status or or this thing maybe your uh, so so juniors so i, I think again um, it's it's about having that trust in the other person that people are nice frankly people are nice it's just that they, they don't know how to show that nice ness out so if you if you if you believe that you will like people 
I mean, this very it's very rare that you will not like people. And it's human nature that if you like the other person, the other person will like you. It's as simple as that. Even if you don't like his work, it is possible to like a person uh, without liking his work or what that person is doing, right? Uh, <coughs> possible to do that. So, so with co-workers, you have seniors and you have juniors. Always remember that, that your juniors have to grow. They will grow. Today or tomorrow they will grow. They might be way juniors to you or they might be little bit juniors to you, but they will grow in, in life sometime and, and trust that, that with time your juniors will go beyond you. Definitely. They will know more than you. They are more aware of things. They are more active. They have more energy. Trust uh, that, that your juniors at times can be better than you. Okay, so that that inside bias which we have just because I am a senior, I am better uh, in design doesn't work. So that's that's something you need to be aware of that your juniors can be better. So you need to treat them with respect. Remember that that respect could be inside. I'm not saying it. laga ke baat karo, wo nahi hai. So that is important. With your seniors, um, that's another thing. That seniors have more experience. Uh, they may not know better than you, but there are few things they will know better than you. Definitely. Every senior I have knows something which I don't know. So I have something to learn from my senior. Right? You need to res respect that. So I think the, the moment this, this element of respect comes in between juniors and seniors, uh, it works. The relationship is, is better. It works. I'll talk about office politics also. I know a lot of people are are worried about somebody steals their idea, somebody presents their idea in a better way. All that is, is because we get very competitive in this world saying that this person will go beyond I'm going. So there I would say is that you need to focus on yourself, focus on your growth. Uh, do not focus on the other person's growth. Chances are that there are people who are growing slower than you and there are people who are growing faster than you. Just accept it. That's life. Okay, so it's 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 the same thing on the road when you when you're driving on the road. There are cars which are faster than your your car. Please give them space. No no point holding them. You know, main, main apna whichever car I drive, I want to drive in a way that the faster car does not come in front of me. Believe me that today or tomorrow, whenever or later that car will find that space, it will zoom way ahead um, of you. Right, so no point blocking space, uh, blocking the speed of somebody else. If it's a junior, might as well uh, felicitate or facilitate that person's growth, become a part of that person's growth journey. Right, so that person forever will be your friend. That's that's what I would say, especially when you're dealing with juniors. Dealing with seniors is is it's slightly difficult question because there are cultural differences and there are generation gaps. Uh, I think uh, dealing with seniors, just like the, the seniors need to be aware of how to deal with juniors, give them space to go ahead. Uh, juniors need to be aware that, that seniors need their space as well. Okay, and they need a, a space because they have actually built the roads on which you are walking today. And you need to be great, grateful for that. So you need to sort of acknowledge that whatever is happening today is happening because the earlier generations have done their uh, their job properly. I think the moment that comes in, it's fine. It's, it is okay that they may not know technology as well as you know. They may not have the latest knowledge or the, the tools of expressions might be different. Next comes vendors. So when you're dealing with the vendors, remember every... We are also vendors to, to our clients, right? Vendors is when you work with your printers and, and other people, printers or people who are making models for you, they're delivering things for you, they could be a courier or whoever. Again, I, I would say that everybody is trying to live a life uh, by doing hard work. So trust that they're doing hard work to the best of their abilities. Obviously, you find the best of the vendors, uh, but there is no reason to be disrespectful than to the person. Right? So if you don't like what they're doing, work with somebody else. But doesn't mean that you need to start abusing or something. So 
keep that relationship on that I, uncle i like you or you know so and so mr so and so beautiful good we can sit together have a 10 uh, minute coffee or tea but i don't want to work with you because your work is not good you should be you should be able to talk that language very clearly okay the last uh, point i will talk is about clients um clients are are we all know not all clients are reasonable always they they what they want to do is um you know give you as little money as possible in as less time as possible and get the maximum out of you so once i think you you understand the dynamics that this is the client mindset this is their mandate it's not it's not because it's you this is what they're supposed to do with anyone okay get the best work done at the cheapest cost in the best possible time right i think if you can empathize with your client and his requirements or her requirement or the client uh, team's requirements it'll work in your favor as long as you can you can do it um, profitably and it benefits your brand definitely go ahead and do it if it doesn't for example if it doesn't work for you money is not enough time is not enough or you don't have the capability of doing i think it's it's worth it to just decline that project respectfully just get out of it saying sir i would love to work with you sometime in my life but this time it's not something which i can take up right get out of it no need i would say even at a loss if you need to incur a loss at times to get out of a bad client relationship just get out of it uh without abusing the client without breaking without burning the bridges extremely important so burning the bridges is a very important point uh, which i want to talk about so there there are times i have had to refund the full advances which i have received after four months of work um to our client uh, just because the client was unhappy not uh, happy enough with the speed of work and things which we were doing uh created a lot of problems at our end financially and otherwise team wise uh, and we've had clients turn back after 5 years with much larger project with with the same amount of enthusiasm and respect saying this is a company and these are people i trust i want to work with uh, you will not realize that if you respect a person in inside they will respect you and they will feel welcomed again they feel open enough to come back to you okay so they it's like the the bridge is never burnt they they come back to you whenever uh, uh, possible uh, i think is the same thing with the team is the same thing with the vendors if things are not working out sit about it talk about it close it uh, and when you are doing a closure closure should be with full respect to the other person okay so it should never be personal it should not be personal so i've had some team members which for example quit in a huff with getting very angry with a lot of abuse and all that something something doesn't work and and the problem is those guys i know those guys went out after few years i know their condition not good enough i would have actually hired them back but it's just that 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 last uh, part of that that how we split did not work very well um, you know that sticks to your mind and it brings bad memories and you don't want to work with it right on the other hand sometimes you just sit sit across and say not working with me not working with me okay let's go ahead and do something else believe me trust me there's enough work in the world the world is full of work you will get your place uh, and if somebody takes your credit away for for a little while doesn't matter if you are a worthy person nobody can take your credit away it'll come back to you right so so i think i just needed to talk about these things uh there are keywords which i want to talk about people we say so and so is unreasonable okay i think go a little deeper don't just use words go a little deeper and say what do you mean by unreasonable whether that person want something from you which you think is not right just just go in another word <coughs> which i hear a lot uh, between co-workers is getting used oh so i'm so and so used me and i mean yeah that's that's the world right you get used so when you're working in a team you have a role to play um and sometimes you stretch beyond the role 
to do a project or to work in a team i think any time you stretch beyond your role it's you as a person who's growing team of course is is benefiting from it but is it's you as a person who's actually growing beyond your role so i i think it's a fair um, uh, there, there is nothing to get worried about that then um, mentors and and gurus relationship with them so i think mentors and gurus relationship with with those people should be knowledge based so so never trust a, a mentor saying oh mentor ek pedestal pe bitha diya so that guy is whatever he says is gospel it's never never like that never in design never in any field so everything should be questioned and and uh, whatever is there valuable take it um as a become a helper so that's that's a thing that if you are with a client say how can i help you if you are in a team how can i help my team how can i help my office how can i help my boss how can i help my my junior if you have that how can i help uh, attitude i think that works fantastic to to be on a good relationship footing okay so there are questions bisha ji bhai fully agree in our specific sub culture respect for a person which is same as the power da, 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 all the super things are basic yes that's true the respect is extremely important are there any more questions uh okay i'm looking at my large screen and okay ye ho gaya okay so uh what role does effective communication play in building okay so i i think what is important to understand is what is communication so communication is is nothing but um, tools to bring clarity right so communication can be verbal uh, if you articulate it would be drawing something it could be sending emails whatever but but basically i think the the role of communication is to bring clarity and to keep things clear and how good are you in communication um uh, not just words uh i i know not just language it is what do you mean by something when you say something right important how to manage work life relationship while working so so while you're working there's no life right <laughs> there's only work there, there's nothing called life that's not true now now the fact is very frankly and more and more i think about it if you don't work what is life i mean watching movies how many movies can you watch having holidays traveling how much can you travel how much can you eat what can you do so frankly for me i've never understood this concept of work life for me it's it's all together if i'm happy at work i'm happy at life i'm if i'm happy at life i'm happy at work i mean these are same for us work is life there there is no no difference where does one draw the line biswajeep is asking um yeah biswajeep i i think the the tough question is is that you need to it's i think the the relationships are more about us and less about the other person the mistake we do is we always make it more about the other person uh and and less about us i think the moment you invert it this really really works because how i react to somebody's culture or somebody's reaction to me um defines my relationship with that person okay i've had people who reacted extremely negatively okay let me let me give you an example when we started the magazine i don't know if you guys remember 2010 i think we got killed in the first year um when i launched the awards i i remember slaughter you know so many of my my seniors my junior like, who the hell are you to give the awards and my god all of them may have won the awards later okay they all entered and won the awards it's just that i did not take it on my side i said okay there's probably something wrong uh, we need to change but i also knew that that many times the reactions come from the point of fear you know people think oh you are doing this i am not doing this um, you have so much time i don't have so much time uh you will become famous because of this i will not get famous because of this i i think it's the insecurities which show up and it's okay it's good we we have our insecurities we live with that 
uh, okay uh, i'll come back to sanjeev there is some some way hi uh, how does one make sure that the vibe and ethics you started with get trickled down smoothly with ever increasing team when you're personally not involved in so uh, yeah i this is culture right this is culture building the question is culture building see this happens when and i believe especially in in um, design office like yours you have such a lovely beautiful uh, team uh, in jaipur and such a lovely office i've been there a few times right uh, and so do i and i think it's like you need to spend time with your team um, so you need to take care of your uh, team so that they are there long enough to imbibe the culture imbibing the culture means that you're not only you don't really have to talk it all the time they look at you the way you behave with other people and they know this is how we should behave it's, it's just like how children uh, grow up looking at their parents you always become a reflection of your parents right and and they are always watching how you're talking to your housemaid your how you're talking to your your driver how you're talking to the pani puri wala how you're talking to the sabji wala how you're talking to the uncle next door they watching so i think the idea is not to behave nicely so that they behave nicely it, the idea is to behave nicely for yourself and and let them know that that uh, the actually the, the world becomes a better place when you start behaving nicely for you uh, you know you might be in a in a absolute turbulent uh, world but you feel nice you need to feel calm inside and i think finally that's that's what works so um, whether you are there or you're not there one is of course you need to spend enough time with the with the team if you're not spending enough time and i found that during covid for example a lot of young people lost out on that uh, you know growing part but i think people are catching up so yeah you need to be personally involved in at least grooming the team talking to your team about your what you think is right what you think is wrong how they should do things so bisa ji again my design work is very personal where are where as distancing and stepping away is often painful and you eventually do burn bridges i don't know what you're talking about mr jeep um, i don't think there's any design work which is not personal um, we always give a part of ourselves into the work right when we are doing something and it is difficult to get away because a manager's decision is that you know there is somebody else who's more efficient and better you just need to sort of get into those shoes and say he's doing his job and fine i'll find somebody else to to work with yeah i mean it's it's always difficult to step away from i'm i'm going through one right now i mean there are projects i did 20 25 years back um great brands which exist and they they haven't changed much those brands are still there just that they change the layouts which i which i you know i can i can pull my hair on the alignments and and things like that. but they've done it they they own it you need to realize that finally we need to let go work you know we we done work delivered it 25 years back i'm still emotionally involved with it so yeah i mean that that part of us will always be there but that's not burning bridges right it is like uh, you don't need to be you don't need to fight with people you let them know that there's something i'm not happy with it but it's okay they're doing what they need to do and you need to go on and do what you need to do okay aur kuch hai kya sagar are sagar kya baat hai what are the common challenges in building and maintaining work relationships so sagar i will say that smile at people more often uh, right talk to them uh, have lunch with them uh, have, have dinners with them spend time with them it's important to to have that play um, i think the moment you know a person beyond work you know uski girlfriend kaun hai uska boyfriend kaun hai uski shaadi hui hai ki nahi hui hai the relationships improve that the relationship is not limited to only work and it is important because we spend so much time um uh, in office and especially this time in life when you're growing up right when you are actually uh, taking the world in very important to to relate uh, better with with people okay so who else uh 
Okay, I'm I'm still looking at the questions. I I thought there was. I saw some some Russian name, uh, Ukrainian name with the. It said is asking questions. Okay, it must be somewhere else. Okay, so I think uh, we are done unless you have a question. Yeah. So I have a question. Huh. So when I was in my third year, uh, I was assigned as a computer, mm. and it was my, uh, it was my peers working with me. So I had four people under me, but due to some reason, one of them said that she had some medical emergency. So what I did was I assigned her task to the other three people. But then they got offended, like they felt that as if I was biased to that particular person. I tried to explain what her problem was, but then it was overload for them. And at the end, when we had to uh, present everything, it just got messed up. So, uh, as a team leader, uh, what do you think I should have done? To yeah. Better? Yeah. So I, I think it's a, it's a pure communication issue. It's not it's not uh, related to uh, to work at all. It's not that they were workloaded or something. It's, it's pure communication. So when you are in a team, uh, working in a team, ex one expression he used, people were under you. I think that is, is the expression you need to be careful about. You did use that in, in our yesterday's meeting also, right? Um, there's nobody above you and under you. I think that's one concept you need to feel is that all of us are actually, we may have different roles, but there's no role under you. Right, we work as as team, and I have a scope which is probably to to define, to supervise, to monitor, to regulate, to report. Uh, but that is not under me or above me. So one one that is important. Also, what that means is that your team needs to be extremely uh, on the same page. You need to know as a team this is our assignment, this is what we are doing. And this is how we are doing. Now suddenly one team member has gone. Take, now this is where democracy comes in. Uh, there is autocracy and there is democracy. So democracy in work is very important. That you put your heads together as a team saying, okay, this has happened. What do we do? Does anyone have an idea? Or I have an idea. Because I am the leader, I am supposed to have ideas. right? So I will say, this person has gone. So what I am planning is that I will shift their workload on you. Um, or if you have a better idea, let's work with that. So they, I, I'm sure the team will also come come across and say, okay, okay, let's do this, let's do this. But nothing works. Finally, they say, okay, we'll do more work, right? So it's not you who are not putting a decision on their head. It's the team which is deciding to take up more work because work needs to be done. The project is more important than who does how much, right? So I think it's it's just a communication issue. Is the same problem, same solution. Things are not changing, but the way you do it needs to be different. It needs to be more democratic in that sense. Right? Yes. So since so we are talking about leadership and team, so can you define a great leader and design team? What does, uh, what does he look like uh, after? And you, okay. who, is the, who is the great team player in design team? Okay. So uh, Mariana is asking, what does a great leader look like? I think the answer is very clear. It's there on screen in front of you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. No, but <laughs> um, frankly, I think I, I like the, the analogy we've, we've been seeing it in memes and all that. The leader is, is somebody who leads from the front. Okay? Leader has to be knowledgeable, has to be the one who takes all the, the pressure uh, and doesn't pass it on the team. Now that's another thing uh, I think leaders need to be careful about is a lot of leaders build the pressure. Though there's no pressure, they build the pressure and pass it to the team. That's a bad leader. Okay, leader is somebody who can become a wall in front, take the pressure which is coming out from the front, realizing that this pressure will ease when the work is delivered and the team requires peace and, and calm to actually deliver the work. And this comes only if there is mutual trust and respect between the team members. And team members are aware that our boss is, or our leader is taking up that pressure and we will deliver what needs to be delivered. Right? That So, so the leader has two roles. One is inside role, which is with the team. So his role is to see that he is communicating all the pressures very clearly to the team saying, yeah, pressure hai, but I, you don't need to take that pressure. So the team is aware of the pressure. Team is not in a bubble. 
okay team is aware of the pressure but doesn't have to take the pressure because the leader is taking the pressure and then on the outside he is actually transferring that information very clearly saying we are working we are going to deliver on time or in in the quality which is needed to the best of our abilities right that also means that that to the outside world you need to be extremely honest and transparent saying ye capability hai ye capability nahi hai so you're not over promising something which your team can't i i find most of the time the the design leaders land up promising something which they can't deliver the team is not capable of delivering so so i mean that is going to be a tense situation for the leader as well as for the team because you are going beyond your your what you can deliver so it's very important to know each and every person their capabilities and all that what are some strategies for building and maintaining positive relationships with colleagues same i just told uh, you know with with colleagues um, colleagues need to be your friends and your family just like that there's no i don't see any difference you need to be to be respectful you need to be transparent you need to be open spend time with your team and understand that that teams come from different places you know the somebody's education level is different somebody's cultural background is different koi choti city se aa raha hai koi badi city se aa raha hai somebody likes wearing red somebody likes wearing yellow i mean we have our own tastes and 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 differences and cultures and they are all um as valid as mine right so if i have a certain aura around me i need that to be respected by by another person and when i respect his uh, this thing i think you become close friends people need to open up with you if they have a problem they should be able to share that with you uh, that should be very important um, and if they you can figure out if the problem is being shared um, because you are in a position to do something about it or it it is a genuine issue right so if somebody comes up uh, with every third day that my grandmother is not well so please fill in for me tu meri jagah raat ko kaam kar le main kaam nahi kar paunga if it is happening too often you will have that feeling of getting used right then you need to be upfront and say ki yaar teri dadi ko bol theek ho ja you know <laughs> what else can you do that's it um i think that's it done and any other question there is is there a question just check okay um thank you so much i'm uh, i'm very happy with these sessions but i i think feel free to to put your questions even later on after these sessions are over i'm i'm happy to answer um i was at uh, a jury today for uh, lexus they had a library competition called electrifying nature electrified uh, something like that so it was a good uh, um, good exposure to me to see some work outside the work uh, which you normally see and outside the work of designers i'm sure there are a lot of non designers in that uh, next week i have a live um, online session with the uh, uh, super pixel right is there on on my um, instagram or in uh, design india check that that's a one hour session on brand and business and their question answers as well we'll try and combine that with this live uh, next week um, and i look forward to seeing you if there is something else you want me to talk about i am very happy to talk about that so no, mention that as well you have a question now yeah. okay <laughs> so uh, when we say about communication a lot of gen, gen, uh, gen z or our generation we end up speaking like in the morning meetings or evening meetings.
major communication issue because yeah. I didn't understand your question at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, okay, l let me try and, and at the time I was asking a question that uh, the Gen Z you said. Yeah. The, these are different kind of animals. <laughs> not, not animals. <laughs> they, they, they express in a different way and if they are frank in saying the status of the work, yeah. the management thinks the work is not happening. Basically, not, uh, happening. not happening. No, not happening. Or, right, yeah. right. I, I think um, internally, um, it's it's very important to be honest about what the work is happening. You cannot say work is happening when the work is not happening. Right. So, so I would say even at the risk of coming across as not enough work is happening. Probably the management is not queued on to the to the capability of the team, and if they feel dismayed about that, uh, they probably need to. It's it's not the issue of the Gen Z, it is the issue of the managing team, right? The the managing team or the team leader, whoever is, needs to understand the pace and the speed and the capability of the team, right? Instead of feeling disappointed, I आज काम नहीं किया. Many times the leaders. find this is a tool for them to make their team work more to say tum kaam nahi kiya aaj kaam kar baith ke even though you you know you have worked uh, a lot uh, i think this probably happens because there are people who become senior just because you know the age keeps growing they haven't actually grown they haven't understood how to manage people um, you shouldn't mind it it's okay i don't think you need to change you need to be very honest about where the work is Uh, instead of just covering up and saying the work has happened when it has not happened i think a, a team or a design studio can only deliver when when they know the the real sense of work extremely important no don't, don't worry about that. that that your boss needs to learn more than you <laughs> yeah, okay. i'll speak i'll speak to tarun about it don't worry <laughs> Uh, mm. When they are new by to the designer community, and it is it may be a gated community kind of thing or something, and uh, we need some exposure to make good connection professionally or personally. So why what kind of practices we need to follow to get the, that kind of exposure particularly like uh, awards are one way kind of. So. You want me to plug in the awards in this now? No, no. Okay. Everything like. Okay. So, so I I feel um, making connections is important, um, and and as human beings, we are always making connections. I mean, I don't know if you are aware of this. Uh, we are seven billion people. Yeah. Seven billion people. Okay. Anyone you can look at, you are making connection. Now the weird thing is that even if you look at somebody on a screen. you making a connection with that person right that person is not making a connection with you so so understand the difference one way connection okay so it's very easy to make a connection with people the moment you look at them you making a connection there's a eye contact you making a connection okay on the screen there's a illusion of making a connection you watch a movie star This happened with us recently in Goa, right? So we we came across a few movie stars there, and you look at them and you say, "My God, I know this guy," <laughs> right? Because you actually know this guy, and that guy just passes by as if you are not even existing there, <laughs> obviously. But you made a connection. That guy didn't make a connection. So that's the screen life. Differentiate that, then having eye to eye contact in a real life. so even if you are in in your car or in in a bus and the other person is on the scooter and tumhari 2 minute liye aankhein milti hai enough right connection ho gaya many times you turn back and look at that person and you find that person is also looking back there is something right some connection is done now value that over when you are actually able to talk to that person not that person or anyone you are able to sit and talk to that person connection has happened okay that's that's what i said that don't disrespect that connection it's very rare we in our life come across few thousand people we actually make connection with why fight why build bad uh, relation so that connection then it depends on you you want to take it ahead you want to convert that into a work relationship into some other kind of relationship or you want to fight with that person 
right so i find that as long as you respect the the humans that that there is a value to to me sitting in front of you and you sitting in front of me today yeah. right that value doesn't go away even if you you go somewhere else you become your architect right so you you go somewhere and you become a very top notch architect and i come and say and rishikesh remember uh, i was your boss in that company i say i never i didn't like working in that company i don't like you you go away from here i mean right but we can always sit and are i remember nice lovely even after years you always have that connection you never lose it so i think connections finally relationships are human nothing else the basic human uh, requirement for us the more uh, relationships you have and you're happy about meeting people excited about meeting people more positive and like i said it's not on the other person it depends on you your attitude has to be positive if that is positive the other person is bound to be positive today or tomorrow when hindi films mein dekha na the hero falls in love first finally the girl also falls in love hota hi hai right okay is there a question now okay thank you i think aaj bahut lamba ho gaya thank you so much for connecting and if you have any question just send it